so hello guys welcome back to forza gaming i am your host for jack so in this video we will gonna learn this thing which is the splash screen so i'll show the demo of the splash screen how it runs so you can see here i am running it as sudo don't know why my kali means my corridor linux gave me some error running it as normal user don't know why so oh my god the image has been not given oh, one second guys i will give the image okay i have changed the image location and forgot to give it okay so here the i'll put it as assets slash okay and if i now run this thing it should work let's see <coughs> yeah it worked it's amazing right so we will gonna see about this only so how to create this splash screen if in this video we will gonna look how this thing actually works so this will first load the splash screen and go to the main screen so let's begin okay so file that is main.py so main.py uh, it will automatically is select the dot py file so we need these files okay we need a gif file means you know the animate animation for image file and main.kv and splash.kv and our main python app so i was creating a project of my client i thought uh, i should share this thing means the splash screen thing to you guys okay so let's see how to do this so first of all we will import these things from here so these import imports are very important so note i have imported clock window builder oh sorry builder screen manager and md app okay so now let's create a class class m a i and main app and then main app is m d app uh, so that the window should pop up right that is why now set the uh, let's set the window size so window dot size equal to 350 comma 500 now let's just choose this otherwise if you want to create a manual size then you can do it uh, means change it here or else go to the main.kv file and here in the box layout just um, click enter and type in size root dot height and root dot width okay this will adjust the screen size so now i am just removing this because i have to do this right so now here what is what we all we will do so i'll say first i will create a build function that will return the means it will have everything we need so here i'll create a global variable of the screen manager so i'll put it in a variable so here it is screen manager and i'll assign it the screen manager function okay so that it will be easier to use from anywhere now i have assigned the screen manager function and here we are we want to load the uh, kv file so first is main.kv and then the splash.kv but the splash.kv actually should be in first because when you open the app the splash screen first opens right so we have to load the splash screen.kv first okay so as you can see in this code uh even if you want these two lines you can add or else uh, it is uh, like what to say it is like uh, temporary means you can use optional sorry it is optional for you guys okay so this is the title of the app and this is the theme of the app and 
these two are the loading so let's see how to load the widget so i'll use screen manager dot add widget and we have used the you we have to use the builder to load the files so builder dot load file and yeah main sorry first we have to load the splash dot kv afterwards we have to load the <coughs> we have to load load this file so this file is main dot kv right so main dot kv <coughs> and the main dot kv i am thinking that i have to create an another label so we will come here okay so we will come here don't be confused so here is the basic of this app so this creates actually what this does is one second i'll now return the screen manager thing okay now here what is happening is uh, it calls all the means it takes all the kv files and store means show up the show up the content in the app as widgets okay so you know about widget right so we'll not going to talk more about those things now here these two functions are like uh, what i will explain in seconds so just i'll just copy these functions and i'll put it here so here what is happening is um, it is actually doing the animation so let's talk about these things so here what it is doing is the clock dot schedule once is actually changing the screen so change screen function is here created here so first what it will do is actually open the splash dot kv file right so it does not move to the main dot kv when we have um, we have to say that you have to move to the kv main dot kv file right so that is why we are using this on start function so that it works right okay so here the change screen function actually changes to the using the screen manager uh, we have named it global right okay i uh, made a mistake simple mistake right first i have to make this and i have to put it here so here what it will do is actually call the screen manager function and make it to the means current means the physic means it will show the current screen so here the current screen is actually splash dot kv but we don't need the splash dot kv after changing it right so after we have to change the main screen so we use the main screen dot kv file so here it is main screen you do uh, you will think what is the main screen okay i'll talk about it later so now just let's create our this splash dot kv file so here the splash dot kv file has means first the main window loading option so if we uh, start the app it should create a window so uh, for that window we have created this thing okay and uh, yeah here we have created uh, its name called splash screen its name is splash screen and we have started the progress bar so what is progress bar here you can see uh, it is progress bars uh, that loaded in the down of below the loading screen of the kv file means the app um, i'll show it to you so if i run this here oh god sudo password yeah the sudo password is entered come on load okay so here you can see there is a loading design in below right so that is why we are using the <coughs> using the progress bar so progress dot start means the progress will start progress bar will start 
okay so we here we have created a float layout and uh, we have given an image and uh, the source is asset slash giphy as i said uh, we have to create a separate folder for you you should manage your code very well actually i, I should have done like kv files in a simple single folder and main file in the main folder like that but uh, i i thought i would record this video you have to always keep in mind that you have to keep the files very means it should be easy to understand right so make that type of things so that i have created a assets folder and in the assets folder i have placed my image images so here you can see here is my channel logo like that okay so you should keep in mind always do these things so if i click uh, uncomment this means comment this let's see what happens so nothing has happened but if i change the window size it does not change the size but if i change it here if i change it here and then run this app and if i means maximize it see it has full stretch right so this is allow stretch okay so allow stretch is very means not so important but you can use okay so here we have put the animation delay and animation reset equals true and then here we have used the box layout to actually store the progress bar so we have stored the progress bar under the image so that it looks separately and beautiful so uh, let's do a thing uh, let's change the color of this means progress bar so i'll change the color one comma one comma no one is white zero zero one so let's see how it looks now wow it looks awesome right so yeah you can also use the spinner function from the kiwi md given okay so it looks awesome right now this is the splash screen so if you did not understand anything you can always always call me in the discord i'll explain you you can call me text me in the discord i'll be anytime online in discord so don't hesitate okay so now let's to come to the main.kv so here in the main.kv i have created these two these two layouts and in the box layout i have given the 10 padding and here i have, i thought i would create an another um, label but i forgot so now i am doing it so in the label i am giving a text called <coughs> main screen and main scr so here the main screen goes and the font size will be like font size let's give it an 30 dp so here i have used the markup you know markup is very easy to understand language it is uh, from yeah uh, html code right hypertext markup language okay so i'll give the color otherwise uh, it will not be visible to you guys so for color i will give you a best option means the best site to pick colors from so many guys don't know about this site so my best and favorite thing is w3 schools schools color picker so color picker it is very very useful and easy to use so here they have different types of color picking options like this okay so you can use any type of color you want so for example now i am 
choosing this color it has set me 51 51 255 okay so if I choose the white okay let's choose this color only where did it go where did it go yeah one zero two zero two fifty five okay let's choose this color one zero two and zero and two fifty five it will give an error <laughs> if you guys know without seeing the front part please answer this question okay it will give an error okay if you guys know what the error is then please leave me in the comment i'll give you an heart so hey no it did it worked it did not give me an error i thought it would it would give an error <laughs> okay it did not give me an error so let's set the sizing so that it not collab on each other so size hint and in the size hint we have to give it like an dictionary form format okay so the center x should be in 0.5 and we have to move it upwards so let's give the center y to center y to 1 so that it will be easy to understand let's see it should work now so if i do this thing and if i now run it it should work oh give me an error once again guys i'll fix it Oh shit, sorry guys, it is not the size hint, it is position hint, I forgot, okay, it was my error, sorry, okay, now it should work, yeah, let's see, it should come at the center and upwards, okay, oh my god, it gone too high, <laughs> it gone too high, let's see, set it up so uh, the point 0.5 gone too much left so let's set it to point 0.8 and see what happens and this one to point 0.5 let's check it out so I, I thought I would use the hot reload viewer but uh, my Linux is not supporting don't know why uh, if you guys know the answer please you can comment down in the comment section I'll sure check it out and uh, okay let's set this to 1 and this two point no let's set this to 1 let's see what happens now I think this should work No guys, it did not work. But uh, you guys uh, can make it right, right? So this was the video, and uh, yeah, that is it. So here we have to run the main app so that it should work. So here we go, and let's run this main dot py. Uh, so here we go our app is ready the splash screen is ready so this is it see you in the next video until then bye bye if you have any doubts please contact me in discord i'll be online at any time thank you see you in the next video bye bye